Hey guys, so up here with a video on how to stop throwing your games. Now I feel like this is an important topic to cover because I always say that before you can win a game, you have to not lose it. Now I know that sounds kind of redundant and like I'm chatting a load of crap right now, but basically what I mean is that you have to iron out your mistakes and know how to close out games. It's really, really important that you learn how to turn all of those losses that should have been wins into actual victories. Because if you think about it, all of those losses, if they should have been wins, then the difference is two games. Not only is it not a loss, but it actually turns into a win. So being able to do this will really help you climb through those ranks. So without further ado, here are some tips to help you stop throwing your games. First and foremost, you need to be focused. Now, I know this sounds extremely cliche, really obvious and really, really boring, but I really mean it. You have to stay focused and keep your head in the game. Stop thinking about what you had for lunch. Stop winning that imaginary argument with that rude bloke at the bus stop. Stop checking your Skype. Stop talking to your mum. Whatever it is, get your head in the game and avoid that complacency because that is the root of when you make all of your mistakes. It's because you're not focused. Secondly, avoid taking too many unnecessary risks. When you're ahead, you don't need to take risks. It's the people who are behind who need to make those risky plays in order to get back into the game. You just need to play the game out. No tower dives with no vision, no barren plays when enemies are nearby, especially that jungler, and no over-aggressive ganks. Thirdly, you need to stop frag hunting and start objective hunting. The only game that is safe from a throw is a finished game. Having kills will supply you with the necessary tools needed to win a game, i.e. they get you fed, but they don't win you that game alone. Once you are ahead, you need to use your advantage to close out objectives and not just run around the map getting as many kills as possible. The plays that you make need to be objective orientated, so instead of doing a roam or a gank to a lane so you can get some kills, do a roam or a gank to a lane so that you can get off a good tower push. This next point is quite a simple one and quite a basic, but you need to get some good deep vision. This point ties in quite nicely with the one about not taking too many risks because if you have some good vision then you can make plays safely and also you can prevent your enemy from making those risky plays that would otherwise get them back into the game. The fifth point is to acknowledge and appreciate that there is a safety in numbers when you're ahead and that it is often smart to group up and try to force objectives. Now I'm aware that some of you guys watch this video will be saying things like my team never groups with me, they never listen to me, it's impossible to carry, I hate this bronze, silver, hell, all that kind of stuff. However, in my personal experience, it is entirely possible to do this, to be grouping with your team, even at these lower elos, if you communicate well. If your team isn't following you, if you find this to be a common issue in all of your games, chances are your communication skills could use some work. However, there will be times when you can't be grouping for whatever reason, whether someone just isn't listening to you or they're being quite stubborn or just being a general pain in the ass. And if that's the case, then if they won't group with you, group with them. It is always better to do a slightly worse play as a team than it is to do the perfect play, but to be split. At the end of the day, it's easy to remember it like this. You ain't a banana, so you don't want to be split. And the last point to help you to stop throwing your games is to have the mentality of a winner. When you are ahead, your mindset has to be completely focused towards you winning that game. In your mind, this game is already won. You just have to make it happen. If you're afraid of throwing or you're nervous because of some past negative experiences, like, oh, I hope I don't throw this game, then you are more likely to fail, you're more likely to throw. You have to grab this game by its nutsack and squeeze until a victory screen comes out of it. So that does it for my tips on how to stop throwing. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to me for more educational league content with a bit of entertaining stuff on the side too. You can catch me on Facebook or on Twitter or you can catch me streaming on Twitch. All of those links are in the description. But thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video.